take you now to the junction of Ring Road. This is in Kileleshwa and Laikipia Road, where a petrol station and a, um, a food restaurant are currently being demolished by the NEMA, National Environmental Management Authority. Those are live images that we're now bringing to you from that particular location. Uh, once again, the junction of Ring Road, Kileleshwa, Laikipia Road, adjacent to Aboretum, which is a... Uh, park there where a lot of Kenyans usually go and relax. This is a restaurant that attracts a lot of heavy traffic both weekdays and weekends adjacent or there's a petrol station on the same location. There is a pharmacy. There are some ATMs as well and it seems that this it will be their last day of operation as these bulldozers descended upon this location this morning. Now, some residents who've lived in this part of uh, Kileleshwa for many years say that this petrol station has been uh, sort of operating since the 70s, of course, with different owners. And so they've expressed surprise at the swiftness in which this has happened. But we also know that NEMA had given some notice, um, either about a, one report says a month ago, another report says six months ago. Nevertheless, that notice has elapsed, and this is the activity that's happening right now. Now, in the background, now be beyond where that bulldozer is, is, the Ab is Aboretum, which is a leisure area where Nairobians can go and relax for a small fee. You can go there for picnics and so forth. And just, where, just next to where that bulldozer is, there's a small river that passes in, you know, adjacent to this location, and this could be one of the reasons why it's being demolished, that it's sort of on the same location where the river bank should be at the moment and this area you know one can also say if you take a look at pictures of when there's been a lot of rain in nairobi uh, there's really a lot of flooding at the intersection of ring road um, which is the road j that leads you to this petrol station and laikipia road and aboretum drive as well so what we can see now are staff of the java restaurant and of course that fast uh, there's that uh, sort of small store just underneath the java uh, quickly trying to uh, e remove a lot of the products that were in there, what they are able to salvage in the short time that they have. You can see the gas tanks there, you can see buckets, you can see um, petroleum products that one would have used you know, for their vehicles. Uh, whatever they can scramble as quickly as possible, that is what they are trying to do. And if you go to the Twitter handle of Java House, they've just posted a tweet about uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. They have said that, dear guests, due to unforeseen circumstances, our Java Kileleshwa branch will remain closed until further notice. You can still enjoy your services or your Java services at other neighboring branches. So uh, whether, whether the word to use is closed, I'm not sure, because clearly this, you cannot use this location again anymore, uh, any time, anymore, anytime soon. So that's what's happening. Uh, in that part of the city this morning. Now, many online have gone to ask about other areas within the city where similar allegations have been made. Will this action be taken against other areas, especially parts of the city where water sort of really comes together during times of flooding and 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 the, and, the, and 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 then you know sort of when you, when environmentalists go there they find out that there was sort of a river there or a place where water could flow but buildings were put there in place so some Kenyans on social media are asking okay this has happened a notice has been given but what about other locations in the city where similar structures have been set up on uh, riparian sort of grounds what's going to happen with that uh, those are some of the big questions that Kenyans want to know about from NEMA and we will look for NEMA and try and get some answers uh, from them. But if you are noticing a lot of traffic or if you're about to head out and you live near there, be warned, uh, there could be quite some traffic, quite some activity there. And if you normally haunt uh, or, or, or use that location for your needs, then you might have to look for a different location.